thing. It's really scary. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I hate that I love that so much. Right in front of us is Halloween goodness at the Cracker Barrel. Holy crap, guys, this is the big thing that everybody is so excited about this year from the Cracker Barrel. This ghostly figure holding a lantern. I think this thing's like 200 bucks and people absolutely love it. Yeah, it's 199 if you look up there close on the tag, but people absolutely are going gaga for this thing this year. Oh my gosh, let's start right down here though with the salt and pepper shakers. Look, one of them is a creepy pumpkin jack-o'-lantern and the other one is a secret keeping cat. <laughs> that is hilarious. I love both of those so very much. Oh my gosh, and it's even interchangeable with a ghost. You could get two ghosts if you wanted to. You could interchange it or you could put even a third spice in the ghost. I imagine something like ghost pepper. They always have these awesome, uh, what do you call it, like a snow globe, but it, this one has bats in it. Like if you look really close, you can see it's little black bats. Acrylic skull glitter globe is what it's called, $39.99. And yeah, it looks even better in person than it does on the box. I love all the tiny little bats flying around in there. That is so cool. All right, what's this say? It's a witch cauldron shaped mug and it says I'm 100% that witch. We've got the bell ringing skeleton hand, which they actually have turned off right now. They've probably heard it a billion times. Oh, it's on Try Me and it's dead, so the battery must be dead. We got Fresh Brew Poison over here. Oh, this is a glitter a glitter globe as well. I I hmm, I don't I it's too I don't want to pick that up because it's so heavy and I don't want to break it. <laughs> but it does have I was hoping I could push on that and it would just make it start glittering. But it does have glitter on the bottom there. I think it's supposed to be like moving, kind of like this one constantly, where you don't actually have to pick it up to get it to glitter. But I don't know, battery must be dead on that too. They've always got these books, Haunted Hotels, Eerie Inns, Ghoulish Guests, and Creepy Caretakers. I think those are true stories. Then of course we have Selected Works of Edgar Allan Poe. I'm not really a reader, but I love this book. I love the way it feels, and I love Edgar Allan Poe's stories. So spooky. We got the haunted house up here. I don't even see a button or anything. Man, they got like all this stuff turned off. It must just make so many noises that they get so sick of hearing them. But that, I'm sure, lights up in all the, uh, all the little windows there. We got this kind of glitter globe type guy here. This spooky ghost and you can see how he's moving constantly pre-lit tree with skull base oh my gosh look okay so this is not only a pre-lit halloween tree but the base is a skull that is pretty cool you guys know that we've seen in a couple of other stores these skulls that are like planters I never even thought about doing something like this. Get one of these skulls and put the Christmas tree or the Halloween tree in it. Here's another book, Real Ghost Stories, Haunting Encounters Told by Real People. They do have some Halloween costumes here, but it's usually like the same kind of stuff, you know, little dresses and stuff like this. Looks to be kind of Disney stuff maybe, I'm not sure. I do see a witchy hat up here for a witchy woman. Woman. Oh, here's the haunted broom. When this is turned on, you guys probably remember from other years of me filming this, when that's turned on, it will roam around. In fact, I think it is actually called the roaming broom because it's kind of like one of those Roomba things. It doesn't really sweep up, but it is a broom, and you turn it on, and it rolls around the floor randomly. Look at these dangly, iced-out skeleton earrings. What the heck, man? Those things are like five inches long. I should wear one of those. Not. Batty for daddy. Look, it's a little baby hat 
it says Batty for Daddy, and it also comes with socks that have bats on it. The funny thing is, when I first saw that, I thought it was some kind of a mask, because those socks look like eyes. Ooh, we have a giant plush bat. He's only $17.99. That's actually kind of surprising. We have a blow mold of a witchy woman here holding a pumpkin. They always have the Harry Potter ones in here. What the heck? Here's another little salt and pepper shaker set. It's Mr. and Mrs. Frankenstein in a car. They are apparently a shaker, and the car is another shaker. Disney Villains, A Portrait of Evil. Okay, oh, here we go. Here's the light-up um, jack-o'-lantern things here. Yeah, if your kid goes trick-or-treating, you should give them one of these to carry around with them. Wait, what is this? Halloween Hidden Pictures, Puzzles to Highlight. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hoot, Howl, and Halloween, a Halloween sound book. And they always have the Scooby-Doo and Great Pumpkin t-shirts. Man, I wish they had my size. I love the Great Pumpkin. Animated ghost costume dog. And then, oh, look at this. We got another Scooby-Doo here dressed up like a vampire. And we have Gizmo back there. No Halloween candy after midnight. Wait, I almost missed the bullfrog slime. Hand soap. <laughs> what is this? It's got to be a noisemaker. Controls your light switch. Halloween light switch lever. Try me. Okay, it's probably going to make noise. Let's see. I can do this one-handed. Yes. These people are probably so sick of hearing this stuff in here. I should totally get that for my office. They also always have this section for the sugar skull stuff. Like, here's a little plate. Here's a mug. Wait, what is this? It's a skeleton hand holding a candle. That is pretty cool. We got the plush sugar skull pillow. Ooh, look at this. It's like a skull chandelier. That's pretty cool. I wish I could see that lit up. Here's skull-shaped salt and pepper shakers. Those are really cool. They're in a little coffin holder, too. And look at this bowl. Remember at the at-home store, we saw that skull that was made of all little skulls. This is a bowl that would match that perfectly as a centerpiece. And, of course, we have this skull, crystal skull glitter globe, which is not glittering at the moment but this thing is glittering. We got a Halloween Happy Skeletons pillow, and then this looks like a little animatronic thing here. Ooh, I bet that skeleton pops out of there. Let me see if I can turn that on. Okay, I got him turned on. Kinda let that one slip through the cracks. What the heck? <laughs> that makes no sense. He's in a barrel, but he farts before he comes no out. skeleton fart in public. He doesn't have the guts. <laughs> That must, I wonder if they got some crap, literally, about the uh, the outhouse skeleton, because he basically does the same thing. It's really scary. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hate that I love that so much. Alright guys, well there's just a little look at the Halloween stuff so far in the Cracker Barrel. A lot of the stuff they did not have turned on in there, probably because they're sick of hearing it. And, man, it was hot in there. I'm sweating like a hog up in that piece, so I'm out. Let's play a game.